the European Parliament was really um, uh, committed to the situation uh, and for activists uh, to, uh, to be sure uh, to share with uh, some activists uh, by Skype uh, and knowing. As a legislative councillor for 12 years, and he, uh, he is a very seasoned uh, we are asking that, uh, firstly, that there can be a, a law which can sanction officials that are suppressing uh, with brut uh, police brutality uh, the human rights situation in Hong Kong. So if that can be sanctioned or official, then it would be a signal to the protesters in Hong Kong that you know, those who we cannot find justice in Hong Kong, we can find it internationally. And secondly, we are hoping that there can be a subcommittee uh, on, from the uh, European Parliament that can monitor Hong Kong in the long term. So it's not the fight, it's not a short term fight, but a long term uh, support for Hong Kong with a subcommittee under the European Parliament. Member of the uh, international labour community uh, of the Civil Human Rights Front, uh, the organisation that are but he is now in Brussels. We have to pledge for actions coming from the Council, for example, not selling weapons uh, to China that can be used in Hong Kong against these activists. Uh, we also can ask to the Commission and the EAS uh, to come to the European Parliament and to give us information when they have a discussion with China. Uh, what we can ask for is to have the human rights and the Hong Kong situation at the priority point in the discussion with China. Thank you. Oh, one more.